Hey, welcome to NetLab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Goo Gong. Goo Gong. Is that how you say Goo Gong. Goo Gong. Yeah. Goo -gong. That was right. right. First tone. Oh. First tone. I think. Very good. All right. So, uh, Goo Gong is a game designed by Andreas Stelling mm -hmm. for Game Brewer and Tasty Mitchell Games here in the States. Uh, plays one to five players, actually. So, we'll be doing a lot of um, action selection. Mm -hmm. They're calling it worker placement. It's an interesting kind of take on worker placement because we, sure. we don't really have workers per se. Um, we just have gifts. Lots of gifts. Lots of gifts to give. Yeah. <laughs> so join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome back. Welcome to the to Forbidden City. It is a forbidden city. <laughs> we are in the 1500s, China, Ming Dynasty. Yeah. And we are playing the role of ancient, rich, crazy rich Asian families. We are, we are like ancient, crazy rich Asians. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so how does this game work? Take a look at the board. We'll go through the setup really quick. It is a pretty fast paced game. It's very fast. Yeah. Uh, and it really is easy to set up, easy to go. So let's just jump into it. Mm-hmm. Quite simply, we each have four cards that we're going to be trading goods. So now there's corruption has run amok in this city. So the, the new emperor, the, the previous emperor's son, has uh, basically put a decree out to really terminate anybody who's being corrupt and, and trying yeah. to do bribery, right? Right, right. To do things. So instead, they came up with this trading of goods. And well, yeah. To circumvent they, like, it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I was say, I don't think they've got together and like figured it out. Right. But yeah, they're bribing. They're bribing with some kind of run-of-the-mill stuff. Yep. And in exchange, we're going to get these like little favors. Yes, so to so, be able to take action. So these yeah. are the these are the, this is the way we take actions is right. with, by trading these goods. And every card has a value from one through nine, mm -hmm. and we each start with four cards. They're specifically um, set for your, each player's starting hand. So right. this is this will be so this is not random by the way. Um, on the board, we've placed. Uh, the starter cards out on each of the action spaces. So there are seven actions you can take in this game, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it. Yeah. And each action is specific to a certain location. So starting from the top, we'll work our way down. Uh, at the very top, you've got the travel action, where mm -hmm. we each have travelers on the board. They haven't actually gone onto the trail they're yet. They're like little like horseback riding folks. Yeah, they're pretty cool. In like there. the grasslands of Inner Mongolia. Well, it must be. Well, it's beyond the, the, wall, it's so beyond it's like the wall. wall, I guess. So it is. Um, so we'll be able to travel around and, and scoop up these little tokens, and they'll be able to give us some nice bonuses throughout uh, throughout the game. Over here, you can contribute to different sections of the wall. Uh, so it's a build the wall action. Over here, you have um, jades. Do you mm -hmm. want to say build a build a wall? I know you're looking at me like that. You want to say that? So. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna build a wall there. So uh, over here, you've got jade, and jade is really worth victory points at the end of the game, but it's yes. very expensive to get. Mm -hmm. uh, over here is the, is intrigue, right? Yes, very intriguing. Yes, uh, the main function of the intrigue track, really though, is to manage who wins ties. Who wins ties, and it also gives you a mechanism to get more servants in your pool. Yep. Sometimes. And so. maybe jade, or to turn the die, yep. one of the die to any face, and right. that'll we'll understand what that means later. This is a forbidden palace. Yes, the, it actually it has a fancy name. That I can't remember right now. Okay. The <laughs> the palace of like heavenly. Oh, heavenly light. Something. Something to that degree. So we each have a a little person up here that we're a representative that we're gonna be sending up to the throne room to meet mm -hmm. with the emperor. The big thing to note is if you don't get into the emperor's chambers by the end of the game, you cannot win. You just score basically no points. You lose. You lose everything. So, so you don't want to be a big loser in this game. So you got to go see the emperor. Uh, over here, these are the royal decrees. Yes. Uh, so they are really end game points, and over here are some points for doing certain types of actions, which mm -hmm. is nice. And finally, we have the canal, mm -hmm. where you'll be able to put one of your three boats, or all of your three boats if you want to at some point, out onto the canal, wherever you choose. And at the end of every day, it's going to travel a little bit further down river. If it ever happens to roll off the board before you take an action with it, it is lost at sea. It is. It's a very sad tale. Let's hope that doesn't happen this game. <laughs> Uh, so that is the main board. Uh, we'll be playing four days. That's it. Right. Uh, and each quick. day is broken up into a morning phase, a day phase, and a night phase, which is more like clean up. Yeah, clean up, set reset, up. set up, <laughs> set up, action, clean up, clean up. <laughs> right. So that is very simple. Um, each player board 
Uh, we have uh, an area to place your travel tokens, and mm -hmm. you can hold up to six, and those can be traded in at any time as like a free action to gain uh, either more servants, some victory points, or a jade. Uh, you start. We each start with six servants. Yes. Servants are required to really boost actions in this game, mm -hmm. uh, which can become very powerful. So, quickly to go over how an action works. Sure. Really, each of us is going to take a turn. Unless you mm -hmm. want to explain it. Would you yeah, like I can this? absolutely. So my throat yeah, is getting I, a little dry from all this talking. From all that explaining. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so the way this works is that again, we have these cards. They have values on them, and we're going to be trading up. Hopefully, so well, not really trading, up for us. We're trading, trading down, yeah. we're trading down for us, but we need to be able to offer something to one of these uh, fine folks to take the action that is more valuable than what they currently have in their possession. So mm -hmm. the way that it'll work is um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and replace one of these cards, and I'll do it when I take my first action. I just haven't thought about what I want to do yet. Right. Um, and then the card that we retrieve from the board is actually going to go face down in our discard pile after four actions or four swaps like that, we're gonna have four new cards in our discard pile, which right. will become our hand for next round. So there are ways to gain additional cards throughout the game, so we may pretty end much up just taking one five way. actions, yeah. but um, it's pretty much gonna be four actions. For most of the game, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's a, a really kind of neat mechanism because you have this like hidden deck of what you need for next time. The other implication there, and we can do this actually before, we, before I start taking my actions, um, is to roll the destiny dice. Mm -hmm. So it is my density. It is my, you are my density. Destiny. <laughs> uh, I'll roll over here. Okay, so we have these destiny dice, and they're going to live up here. And during the night phase, we're actually going to check our our hand. So the one that we're going to be using for the next round, uh, i.e., the cards that took off pile. the board, yeah. right? Um, and check them against those destiny dice, and we're going to get some bonuses, some points, and. Uh, things like that during the night phase if we match those dice. So we have a one, a five, and a nine. So right. that might that might make you decide what cards you want to take. Yep, because you're going to get a servant for yes. each one you match, each match, and the one with the most matches is going to get points. So yes. um, I okay. think that's good think enough. That's good uh, obviously, the end of the game is going to be after the fourth uh, evening, mm -hmm. and the one with the most player with the most points wins. All right. All right, you're player one, okay. so go ahead on. <clears throat> player one with the medal. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so the way this works is... Um, I'm going to start over here with the decrees, I think. So I'm going to take this level one card, this bowl of fruit, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm going to swap it with this two, because two is higher than, than one. I'm going to take this one and put it in my discard face down, so you can't see it. Mm -hmm. um, and now a couple of things are going to happen here. So a lot of the lower cards, actually a lot of the, just the cards in general, have uh, something on the bottom, so it's either an action or something that you get to take, like this servant for example. On the bottom of this card it's actually the Great Wall action. Mm -hmm. So I have the option to take the Great Wall action before I take my Decree action, if I want to. Um, one thing we didn't mention, or at least I didn't mention because it hasn't come up yet, is that if you... It, for example, if I, if, I want to, if I wanted to go to a spot and I didn't have anything higher, I do have some options, so you can play a lower card, but you'll have to either pay two servants to do that, discard another card that's already in your hand into your discard pile, which means you're basically giving up an action, mm -hmm. or just free swap the cards and don't take any action. Yep. So, uh, so there are ways to kind of get around that, but in this case, I'm good. I'm going to take the Great Wall action, which is up here. So in each of these actions, we have typically two options. So you kind of have a low cost option default and then like a higher cost option. So here for the wall, I can put one of my servants to work on the wall, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, but I also have the option if I, if I wanted to instead, I could pay a servant back to my general supply in order to place two servants on the wall. Mm -hmm. And something you might want to do because what we're doing here on this wall is that once we get up to this like one slash two player mark, we're going to score the wall, and that's where we're going to get points for how much you've contributed to it, etc. So, but I'm not doing that yet. It's very expensive to do. It is quite. So I'm going to stick with that, and then I'm going to come back over here to my decree, and I'm going to choose one of these decrees. Um, ooh, some of these are very attractive. Okay. Um, 
I guess I'll I guess I'll go I don't know, safe. That's a big eight points out there. That's huge, yeah. It's very expensive though. It's gonna cost you all your workers. It's gonna cost me four of my workers. That's cool. No, I'll go low. I'll get some servants. So I think I'll take this decree down here. So the way the decrees work is you have this like little math problem that you have to do every time. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's pretty easy. So you're going to basically pay the cost on these decrees. And we have level one, two, and three decrees out there. So they'll cost at a, at a base. This one will cost me one of my workers or one of my servants to my general supply. So that goes away. And then I'm going to use another servant to actually place on here. Now... I would have to pay, and that's this part, another servant for every opponent who's already there, uh, but you're not there yet, mm -mm. so I don't have to pay anything extra. Just the one to the supply and the one that I put permanently out here on the board to claim that. And what that's going to do for me is give me three points right now, right now actually. Yeah. So one, two, three. Uh, my little lotus flower. And then uh, during the morning phase, that will actually yield me one extra servant. Yep. So that is it. Your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the intrigue track. So I'm exchanging mm -hmm. a four for a two. And I have the canal action I can take as my card action. I'm going to take that. And for the canal action, you can launch a boat. Um, and it basically touch right here. So I can launch a boat, but I have to put a, a servant on it to man the boat. All right, so somebody's got to drive this ship. Once you get three servants on a boat, you can actually trade in your boat and take the reward for whatever dock you're in right now. Mm -hmm. So right now he's right here and he's just chilling. Um, I could also optionally move my boat one. So yeah, you know what, I'll just move it as well, just to demonstrate. Okay. Uh, if I were to discard <laughs> a worker, I could put two, uh, discard a servant, I could put two servants onto a boat um, that I already have on the board. But since I didn't have a boat, now I do. Uh, so that's the boat action. Uh, now I can go ahead and take the intrigue action. So if I disc, I could either move my intrigue up one and take the player one marker, or I could discard to the general supply one of my servants and move it up three spots. One, two, three, and I'm going to do that one. Okay. And that's my turn. Very good. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see. Very interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Great. I'm like laying down all the wrong cards this time. Are you? Yep. Yeah. That's not good. Ugh. Kind of stinks. All right, I am going to go here, I think. So I'm going to take this three. And I'm going to go up here with our horseback rider on the grasslands. So just going to go with my discard. Um, this allows me to take the, this emperor action for free. Mm -hmm. So I will do that. I'm not going to pay any extra workers to bump it up even more. I'm just going to go up once for free. Um, and now because this is the first time i am traveling mm -hmm. i can actually pick any of these spots that i want to go on right and i am going to go here okay take this two servants and then that goes right here in your whoops in a little notch all right and you weren't going to take the boosted action which allows you to go again no, move again no okay no fair enough so what I'm going to do then is play a seven onto the wall, mm -hmm. take the four, and I'm going to do a wall action. So I'm going to pay a servant and place two on the wall. Mm. In a two-player game, when the wall reaches this point, this section is complete and we score it. Mm -hmm. That's all you're going to do? That's all I can do. There was no action on that card. Yeah, that's true. On that statue, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm leaving so many good cards out there. Hmm. It stinks. <laughs>
Hmm. All right, I think I'll let's let's try this on for size. I'm going to go here with a nine. You love those decrees. I do. And what do I want this time? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this one. So I'm going to put one here and also pay one. Okay. That's all you get to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and take the... Mm, do I want to take that? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take that. <clears throat> and I'm going to get to move this dude up one. That's it. Now for your last action. Hmm. And this is actually move, pick up something and put it in your hand? That's to pick up a discarded card oh, a discarded and put it in your card, hand, right. yes. And this one is exchange a card from your hand or your discard pile with one right. on the board. Depending on where you exchange it from. Hmm. This is not good. It's not going to be a good round for me next time, I don't think. Um, I'm like out of good cards. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean. I'm out of good cards too. Okay, I guess I'll just I guess I'll just go here. And make that a five. And I'll spend one of my guys to boost it, to boost this thing, and go one, two, three. All right, and I'm just going to exchange a card for a card. Okay. Mm Very good. That's it. Okay. So, we are into the night, and on your board it tells you exactly what you have. Mm -hmm. So, the first thing we check is how many dice do we Destiny match? Dice. I match one. I matched one as well. All right. But we're tied. We are tied. <laughs> so you, because you took me on the in mm -hmm. intrigue track, you get the tiebreaker. Which is Which three is points. three points. Um, and you get to move your dude up one. Mm -hmm. And we get one worker for every match, match we had. So I get one as well. Um, and all boats move forward one dock. So I am there on the last dock. Good. All right. So that's pretty much it. We start, we take all your cards off the discard pile, they become your yep. new hand, and we start the next day. All right. So let's. No, no change in player order because no right. one took the, the small action here, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't have to replace any of these because I haven't moved off that space right. yet. Only empty spaces get, get filled in. Now we roll the dice, the density dice. The density dice. They're not very dense, though. Oh, it's two sixes? <gasps> Uh, no, it's a six and a nine. Oh, okay. And a seven. Six and a nine and a seven. That's <sighs> the destiny. That's my density. Seven, six, okay. Nine. Um, now you're going to get your morning yes, I uh, am. rewards. So you get to go up two spaces on the intrigue track, Oops, and you get a worker into your pool. Yep. And now we get four servants into our player pool. So many servants. At the start of day two. Okay, now we are on to action, so you kick us off yeah, on day two. This should be interesting. Um, 
Okay, so I'm going to start by going here. So the way this works is because nothing is higher than a nine, mm -hmm. you are allowed to exchange one as a higher version of mm -hmm. nine um, because it's fruit. And sometimes you get really good fruits in there, like lychees, I guess, or something. Maybe. Um, so I'll take a nine. Um, but it also kind of resets things, which is good. So my one actually allows me to take this same action. So I'll do that as a card action first. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will go here. So I'm going to pay three plus one. Okay. Right there. Uh, yes, three plus one. And then I think I will do... Mm. I don't know if I want to do that again. Go right ahead. No, I want to do... Actually, you know what? Wait, I'm... do what again? What? You cannot have more than one cube on the same... I'm not saying I'm oh. going to do that. I thought you meant you were going to do that no. again. No. Oh, right. I'm not that sneaky. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I might try. No, um, what I was going to say is I, what I should actually do is before I do that, I should take this one. Because that's the other one I, w I wanted to take. Mm. So... I'm going to rewind that real quick. So I took three out, right, to put one here. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to pay two to the supply mm -hmm. to take that one. Um, and then I'm going to take this one as my main action. Okay. Does that make sense? That's fine. Are you yeah. cool with that? Yeah, that works. You get four points for that one, too. Okay. So I pay three. You pay no, two. I pay two. And then my one then goes one. here. Perfect. Yeah. So That's it saved you a cube. Yep. And then I get four points. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, wow, yeah, this is going to be tough. I'm going to, it's going to be tough for me here or not. I'm not going to gonna lie. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I think I need to travel. So I'm going to take this. All right. So he's going to first let me put a wall action. So I'm just going to put one worker on the wall and complete the section. Mm. Oh, oh. So I have the max amount of cubes contributed mm -hmm. to the wall. I'm going to get three points. Yep. Plus I get to move my dude up one. And all of mine come off the board. Mm -hmm. Now you have... Oh, you don't have any of these guys, though. I do. Are you, oh, I'm, intrigue. Yeah, I am intrigue level three. I'm going to pay all three. Okay. And get two workers. And get two workers for, for that. For servants. Yep, because okay. you're allowed... After that, you're allowed to pay intrigue you're allowed to check your intrigue check your intrigue so i checked it and i grabbed some more workers for that um and now i get to actually do a travel action so i'm going to go and cash in two to do the powerful action and move two spaces so where do i want to come in the board here hmm what i think i'll do is i'll come in here and i'm going to exchange a card in my hand with a card on the board. Mm. <sighs> yeah, what do I want to do? Maybe I'll exchange... These aren't really good cards. <laughs> Eek. I'll just do that one. And my next action will be to go. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> what? I'm not going to do that one now. I'm going to go here. Okay. And I can take a card from my discard pile back into my hand. Hmm. Very good. Yep. So that's my action. Okay, I think I will... I'm 
gonna go here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take the card action, which is to exchange a card on the board with a card in my hand. Yep. And I'm going to exchange for. Mm. I'll grab this eight. Okay. And I'm not going to pay to get Jade. You don't want to buy Jade. Nope. Okay. Who boy. What did I want to do? I have no idea. Oh, I guess I'll go here. I'll take this one. <laughs> With a two. Hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and do the canal action. Sailboat. So I'm going to pay one to put two on a boat. I'm going to put two here. Nice. And I'm going to deliver. Okay. And I'm going to take the foreman worker. You can do that once. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, you put one of the cubes in the reward you took, because you're only allowed to do that once. Uh, the boat comes off the river, and these guys go there. And my next action would be to buy one of these. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Mm. Not yet. i got to wait on that. <laughs> hmm. Um... Okay, I'm going to do this. I think. Okay. Um, and that lets me take a boat action first. Mm -hmm. So I will do that. Um, and I'll put my boat here. And I can put a guy on it right away, right? Yes, you have to. And yeah, you can have just like boats like floating you out there. You cannot. <laughs> boats. Um, and then I can take my emperor action. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to bump him up one. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the travel action for six. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to move him. I could either move him here or here. Or to that weird seven. Oh, I can skip you mm -hmm. and do that. I'm going to do that. Skip you, take this. Now, if you discard a seven or greater, mm -hmm. you get a jade. A jade. That's good. I'll take the jade. See? Very good. Very good. Okay. And finally, I will go here and put, whoops. One guy on the Ziwala. Oh, I played that six. I get a worker for that. I didn't realize that, right? What? Did I not take a worker for that? Or did I take my worker? That bonus. I don't think I don't think, think I took so. him. Yeah. 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 You good? Yep. I've got one more action to take. Ooh. I think you took a card from your discard into your hand. Oh, you discarded no, no. it just now. I discarded yeah, it. Yeah, you would now. have had an extra action. I would have had an extra action, but I used it to do something. Yeah. Oh, to get to that do jade. That. Yeah, yeah, to get the jade. Just now. To get the to jade. To get that jade. That is right. I wish, I, I wish the jades were like little pente pieces. That'd be cool. Because they kind of look like eggs. <laughs> they do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Mm. And I'm going to pay two workers for it oh, so okay. that I can take the action. Why wouldn't you pay your big worker? I'm not paying my big worker. But you get him back. Only when I, one. I do, but it's like. All right. Do Sit I? Sit yourself. <laughs> he should count as two, <laughs> he right? He does. He counts as two. Yeah, he does. No, he counts as a cube. Oh, okay. He doesn't count. He counts as one cube, but he takes up two he slots up two on the spaces. board. That's okay. the benefit of, oh, of, of the foreman. Okay. Um, and the cost is two cubes. Oh, okay. So, um, so I do get to do this action, mm -hmm. and I get to move my horsey one space, right? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. So you can do the wall. Uh, or the person. Or I can go and do this guy. I'll mm -hmm. do that. That's a good one. Or not. Ooh. What? What are you thinking? I'm just thinking that. What? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So here, right? Is that mm -hmm. where I was? No, I went up here. No, you went okay. up there. Yeah. So I get to move my dude up one. All okay. Right, that's fine. Good. Done? I'm done. Okay. Very good. Let's check our Okay, recipes. yeah. What's your density? I have a seven and a nine. I have a seven and a six. So we're tied again. Okay. But you beat me on the yes. intrigue track. I did. So I get three points. Three points. And you get to move your little dude up one. And we each get two workers. For that? Yep, for that. Um, boats move up, so your ship goes yep. to the next Here port. Here goes. Whee! All right. And player one didn't change, so we're into the, actually into the Third day, day three. Player order didn't change. We do have to bring some tiles out yeah. that's it right okay. there all right so we brought new tiles out um roll the density dice oh that's in the morning we're okay. in the morning yeah oh yeah we're yeah okay. ah that was a long night it was a long night it was a, a short, short night, night. <laughs> it was a fortnight. a fortnight <laughs> i got it first <laughs> <laughs> one three and seven Ta -da. man okay Okey so doke. that's that you get um, uh, all the things. Two spots on the intrigue and one cube, and we each get four. Four cubes. Cubes. That's all my cubes. All right. Okay. And then we go on to the next round. All right. Hmm. So it's my turn again. Mm hmm. Mm. Um. I don't know what I want to do. I want to do that. Don't know if I want to do that. A lot of, a lot of low cards in mm -hmm. here. bunch of dudes. Maybe I can do... Hmm? No, I'm, I'm thinking. I feel like I know what I want to do, but also I like don't really know. I kind of want that that bonus. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take... This guy up here. Wait a minute. Yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. I don't, I don't get to, oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, you Sorry, get to travel. Sorry, Yeah, I get to travel it. I was looking at the guy, this uh, guy, okay. thinking I got to do that, but what I was actually thinking was I get to do this. And move my guy up one. Okay. And do I want to pay two and travel again? It's never a bad thing. I can build a wall, build a wall, or pay three guys for a jade. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm good. Okay. Hmm. I guess I will go here. Mm hmm. Or do I want to go there? I don't know. I don't really know if I do want to go there. I kind of do. Okay. I kind of do. But I'm going to go there with the five. Take the two. 
And I'm going to do the wall action. But okay. I'm going to boosted wall action, which allows me to put two cubes down. So I'm going to put a big cube mm. and a little cube and complete the section of the wall. Oh, are you allowed to do that? Though? Yep. But it's completed. Once you're past it, it scores. Oh, that's weak. Well, that's why the big cube that. is so powerful. But I didn't know that. All right. Because I thought you said once it's complete, you're done. Yeah, well, once you complete, if you're done with your wall action, if it's past. We've never put that big cube We never out went there. out there, yeah. I figured I'd score it real quick, though. Right. So you I get three points. points. Okay. Uh, move my dude up. And I don't have any intrigue to spend. My next action is this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and spend one, mm -hmm. two, plus one to grab that. And okay. I get three points. Yes. Oops. All I right. was moving my guy. I know. I have to watch that. <clears throat> All right. So now I can exchange the same number card. Did I give myself four points for that? You did. Oh, okay. Good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Hmm. So you can do Actually, those. no, I don't think you did. I don't think I did. I was oh, you did. you did. You did. Four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points. Nine. And you're at... One, two, three. How did I get one extra point? You must have did something else during the game. Hmm. Because I thought I got three at least twice for the wall. You didn't get any wall points. You've gotten three at the end of the two nights. Oh, so okay. So that's six. Oh. Wait, Really? So I should be up three more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fifteen. Which is why I'm fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. So you're actually down. You should be up there. At fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Not good at keeping my own points. That's okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. I think I'll do, maybe I'll do this. This is risque. Um, I don't want to travel again and build the wall. So that still counts as a space, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I think you only jump over other players. Yeah. Well, I kind of want to finish my boats. Okay. I really want to get that seven. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get this. I'll travel. That's fine. With my nine. And I will go Let's look over here. So I'll do a cube on the wall. All right. Slowly building the wall. That's good. <laughs> cube by cube. Uh, I'm gonna take the jade action. Mm -hmm. With a six. I get a cube, and I will pay two cubes to buy that jade. Nice. All right, your turn. Um, all right, I will go. I'll go down here. Take this. Um, so I'll pay two mm -hmm. servants. To be able to take this, um, and I will I'm pay one to put two out. Oh, we'll take my wall first up mm. here, mm. right? Yeah, so that I've completes got my the wall. wall. You get three points. 
Move your dude up one. Back here. That guy up. And... You have seven points I could spend. do this. I could spend... Seven... I think I'll spend three. Mm -hmm. And get two of my guys here. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here and do this one. Mm -hmm. And I will... Hmm. So we only have one round left, don't we? Mm hmm I don't know if I want to put another boat out or just fill up that boat. I guess I'll, I'm just going to fill up this boat right here. So I'm going to pay a cube to put two cubes down here. Mm hmm I like getting that big block. But it's I do, like too. Towards the end of the game. It's good early game. Um, and then I'll go ahead and cash this in for my four points. So I'll put one of those here. Mm-hmm. Forever. This guy comes off and I get four. Okay. All right. I will. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I kind of want to get another boat out there, I think. Yeah? I think so. Okay. on a boat put them here mm -hmm. at the start of the river um, but I get to do this guy first actually so I get to move up one and take player one for next round you always take player player one in the last round yep are you done? Mm -hmm. that's it? why didn't you put down your one yet? I don't know how do you know I have a one? Because I count cards. Oh. <laughs> Cheating? <laughs> so I've been, I was like, I'll put this nine out as bait. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you'll use it. And then I can put down my grabby oh, too. <laughs> I could do that this turn. I know. Uh, um, okay, I guess <clears throat> that stinks. I'm going to go here. Mm-hmm. Think yeah, because I'm not even near anything. I could get like two points, but that's it. Um, yeah, I'll just go here. So I'll pay two. All right. Two servants. It's all my people. Um, just to be able to take this action, so I can't boost it. Uh, but I can take the card action, so I can go up one. Mhm. Mm right. And then I can move this guy up one. Boot. All right. What do I want to do here? Well, I guess I could just exchange the one for the seven. <laughs> and call it a day. All right. That's all you can do. Hope I can get points, but I have no people left. Let's see. All right. You could have cashed in your things for people. Uh, yeah, but it wouldn't let me do anything, really, mm. that was worth doing. Yeah. Wow. This is pretty stinky. Okay. I've got two matches. I have one match. Seven and a three. Just so a seven. I get the three points this time. And three fours. Look yes. at all those pots. <laughs> those beautiful pots. So you get one match, you get one cube. I get yes. two cubes. And two three matches points. and three points. And we move the boats up one. So that would be just my boat. And we are on to the last day. Yes. The last day. All right. So, All right, so you actually get player one. I do. This comes back. Not that it matters. Um, fill those in. Roll these guys. Eight. Six and eight double eights. Wow, eight's That's big. But so it really lucky. doesn't matter at this point. What? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because we're not going to score this. Nope. Um, and we do these things. So I get my guy. We both get four guys. Yeah. So I'm going to take one of these. My big guy is one. And I'm going to get three. one. 
and four of this. That's it. Yep. You are first. Oh, wow, I'm first. Okay. All right, I start us up. So I'm going to kick it off with... I'll take this here. And I'm going to do the hmm? angry face action. Oh, okay. Which is that and take that, but it doesn't really matter. Because um, I'm going to do level one. I'm also now going to pay four workers mm -hmm. plus one to take that. Mm. So actually, no, it's three, four for you, <laughs> yep, plus, one plus one for that. Eight points at the end of the game. Kay. At the end of the game. I need to make sure I stay mm -hmm. close. Yep. All right. You done? Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Okay. Um, oh. Brilliant. I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take the boat action first. So I'll come down here mm -hmm. with some of my boat. Okay. Oop. And then take this man, and I get to come here. So I'm the first to see the emperor. I go in the first spot. Yep, you get seven points in game. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will then take this action. And this will allow me to swap a card. Swap a card, mm -hmm. which you can swap a discard or a card from your hand. I'm going to swap a discard card with one on the board. So I will go ahead and take this eight. And that goes in my discard. Nice. Um, and now I get to do a boat action. So I'm going to put a cube on my boat and then I'm going to move it here mm -hmm. and take a card. Nice. Into my hand. Extra action. Extra action for the last turn. That's good. Um, since I took a card, I have to mark it with one of the cubes. Okay. Okay. I am going to go here. Mm -hmm. Put my number four popped. Um, so I get to take the Emperor action again, but because I'm already there, mm -hmm. you just start getting victory points, so I get one point mm -hmm. for visiting him again, I guess. I don't really know what that means, but... Um, then I'll take my boat action. So I'll toss a cube to put two cubes on my boat there. Mm -hmm. And I will take the four points. Okay. So you get to, at that last spot, you get to pick four points, a card, or... Or the big cube. The big cube, which would have been cool earlier, but not so cool now. The big the cube. Big <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. All right. Where's the Miz? The Miz. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Man, I don't really like what's happening here. Because I just don't have enough cubes to do anything. Why don't you get some cubes? You can get I at least could, two. but it's really not helping me. I could get two cubes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that. I'll cash these in for two cubes. Two for one and two for one. Two for one and two for one. I'll take two regular cubes. And I'm going to go ahead and do this that's a four mm -hmm. I'll just, just play a five there hmm. so I go up one more on the angry face track um, I can dump two to move two spaces or I'll just move one for now Maybe I'll move two, and I'll dump two cubes. All right, your turn. On the angry face track. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
what is that cube on a boat cubes on a boat cubes on a boat <laughs> um <clears throat> it doesn't really help me to do the wall. I'm gonna have to pay to to do that. Yeah, I'm like very low on options here. Hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. I know you don't mind much. <laughs> I don't mind. Um. I guess I'll just go up here. Pay two. Mm -hmm. And go one space. Take two points. Scoop some points. All right. Okay. Uh, you get one more point because you did get an emperor. Oh, the action. emperor guy. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go here to finish, and I'm going to discard a card mm. to pay for the action. Discard that card and move him into the five spot. Nice. Had to do it. That's all? Yep. That's all, folks? That's all, folks. Um, and then I'm going to go here with my seven. Okay. Just to bump that up one. <laughs> all right. And, uh, oh, yeah. That's... Well, I guess I can't even do anything with that, right? Nope. Yeah, that's what stinks, because you have to build a wall to use your Intrigue. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. So. Yeah, because it's like they come back and they're like, so... Yeah, they're intrigued. <laughs> oh, well. All right, okay. so we do finish out the day, mm -hmm. right? So nighttime comes, we check... I can spend these, right? Yeah. Four of these for yeah. two points? Yeah, you can do that. I'm going to do that. How many matches did you get? Oh, we don't... Oh, we... yeah, we still do matches, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, pfft. None. I zero. got one. I got zero I matched matches. an eight. So <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even thinking about it actually. I got a dude and three points. Yeah, because yeah. it's still points. It is. Uh, and, oh, and my dude moves up one. I should have just. What? Uh, and my dude actually moves up one, so I get another point. Oh, okay. But if I realized that, I didn't know you didn't have any. I wasn't paying attention. Oh uh, well, I didn't exactly. I wasn't tell counting. You. I wasn't counting cards you count like cards. you. Uh, so that that that's end game, and now we just score it up. And the scoring is really quite simple because mm -hmm. it, it is just right here in the center of the board. So um, if you add any contributions to the wall, you would actually score it now. Oh, that's right. Which, oh wait, so I really should have gone here. Oh, no taking moves back. That's, I'm just saying. Yeah, you, I should have. Did you have a cube left to put on the wall though? No, you didn't. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't, so it wouldn't have mattered. You couldn't have done it. I couldn't either. On the cube, yeah. Like there were things I would I have loved have paid, to do. Like I could have paid yes. to get the cube. And then put one on the wall. You just had to have one on the wall because you would have. It would have net me like one point. Yeah, like, well, whatever. three points. Well, yeah, no, because you know. I got two for cashing the Ah, uh, yes, so I yes, yes. Done two. Got a cube. Done the thing. Whatever. Either way. Anyway. So now we both get eight points for this final okay. scoring token because you would score that next. Uh, you get another seven. Hold on, one, two, three. Seven, Plus five four. for me, because we're scoring oh, uh, the Emperor now. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for gems... Uh, yeah, I have zero. I have two, so I get okay. three more points. Nice. One, two, three. Yeah, see, I wanted to really scoop these up, but that's it. So Yeah. That is it. It took me that by ten points? points. Yeah, that's uh, all you score. It looks a, like a lot more because it's spread across the board. But it's really not. But it's really not. All right. Very good. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it. it. All right, there you have it. Goo gong. Goo gong. Goo gong. <laughs> I love, I love Mandarin. All right. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's talk about this one. Sure. I was, I was um, I was delighted by this one. I think you were. Wow. I was. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot heavier, and it's yes. it's kind of heavy. And we'll, we'll talk about weight in a minute, but yeah, but it's not like super duper heavy. No, not at all. I didn't think so. Yeah. But let's talk, let's talk about replayability, like always. All right, so first. what do we have that's variable in this game? Um, I would say probably, so the travel tiles, for one. Mm -hmm. The uh, decrees, for yeah, two. So the there's decrees. a stack of them. You actually shuffle them up and you pick out two level one, two level two, and two level three right. decrees. So that's always going to be different. So there is definitely some variability. The uh, destiny dice mm -hmm. are always going to be different every yeah. round. 
Um, you do start with the same hand depending on what player you are. Right. So, and there's like icons on the cards. So player one has like a little fan with like with one, one filled section in. filled yeah. in. So everybody starts. And I think that like the first player has, like I think your cards are like stronger or more able to be cycled in and out or something right like that. So, so yeah there's there's obviously yeah. some balancing mm -hmm. with the way they set up the starter yeah, hands so that's important. uh the cards for the actions are, are randomly put out so that's some more variability mm -hmm. as well yeah. um it's a five player game which gives you <laughs> a lot of room for right. different sized player groups and as well as it's a soloable game so it i is. think that adds a tremendous and it has like an automa yes uh deck so you can play you know solo so that definitely gives it more legs too so i think replayability right. is certainly high or right, on the yeah. higher end. I would say it. yes, like from a very like variability standpoint, mm -hmm. high. Um, from a do I want to play this again right after we finished playing it kind of yeah. way? Yes, high also. Yeah, I think, so. because it's short. Because it's short, yeah. and um, I think that the first time we we pulled this out and played it, we were both kind of like, wow, that was kind of like refreshing. Like yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't a brain burner, but it, it's enough of like a little, you know, kind of puzzle because there there are so many things to do and mm -hmm. it does kind of play your strategies a little bit different every time. Yeah. But it's kind of like, it's a little bit of like, like a, I don't want to say it's luck, but there's a lot of like, um, uh, you're not planning, you know, steps and steps and steps ahead. You're not able to. Do you know that, what I mean? That, that kind of a, like mitigates some of the AP that you may right, have on a right. board that allows you to do a hundred different things at one time. Exactly. Um, um, yeah. But we could go right into um, talking about weight, I mm -hmm. think. Um, yeah, this is definitely on the lighter Euro side. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, I mean, if you can play this type of worker placement game, action selection type right. game with two players in about 45 minutes, yeah. Probably even less if you really hustle. Yeah. I think that that speaks to the um, the weight of it, right? Right. Because you're you're not really having to crunch and plan and do all this other stuff. You mm -hmm. can kind of just you know what actions you can take. You're limited. You can play it out, and, and the moves are pretty quick. Right. Yeah, I agree. And I, the thing is, I kind of I like the fact that you can, if you are somebody who likes to kind of think about your action for a mm -hmm. little bit, um, if you might be like a little more AP prone, you're still going to be in and out of this game in about an hour. Yeah, you know I, what I mean. So, and it's not it's not like an exhaustingly long kind of thing. Now that's with two. Mm -hmm. So we haven't played it with more. No. I can. I would. I would expect that the more folks that you're playing with. Probably it's going to take a little bit longer yeah, because for sure. you're building off of everybody's stuff. Um, but I will say too, like in a in a higher player count, I think that it might be a bit of a different experience as well because there isn't so much of that like memory yes. aspect. I was joking about like counting cards, but like I knew, okay, I don't have the one and it's not on the board, so like I know you have it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, so with the two of us, it's kind of like, and I know you have to play it. Like it has to, it come, has out. to come out. It has to come out, yeah. Um, so you might kind of be pushing your luck a little bit, not playing a certain card because you know that you'll be able to play it off of something somebody else has. Um, and with more people, it might be harder to kind of keep track harder. of that. Sure. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know how that experience would kind of change. Right. Well, you haven't played the other side of the board, which is for four Three. plus. Yeah, four plus, four yeah. plus. Yeah. So, because um, this is a one to three player right. side of the board, so yeah. you don't, we don't know how much looser it gets, and right. if there's more stuff going on. Um, but I'm sure it's still yeah. just as fun with with five. Right. Um, but anyway, but from a weight perspective, I think this is like extremely accessible. So if you're somebody that's like looking to get into euros, mm -hmm. um, it's uh, very easy to understand. I, I think like it kind of reminded me a little bit of like a light version of like a Lorenzo. Lorenzo we type game. Lorenzo we type like, game, except uh, like with better rules. <laughs> it had really good. Yeah, the really rules are very straightforward, and it's very, very easy, very to, easy to learn and very easy yeah. to understand. So th th kudos to that. Yeah. Um, so from a theme and components perspective, yeah. did you like that? I did. I did. I'm always drawn to these Asian themed games. Oh, uh, why? For whatever. Maybe it's the Asian. <laughs> Blood in me. I'm also very drawn to these Asian kinds of games. <laughs> yes, so we do like them. I, yeah. I, I it's kind of like a, uh, what's that other one? Uh, Zhang Guo. 
Is it John Guo? John Guo yeah. that we played, you know, yes. that where you're building the wall. Building I kind of, I like, yeah, have, you know, I like this, good. I like this era. This, that, this is. Did we film that one? No, we haven't. Okay. Oh, we do have it, but we yes. haven't filmed it. But it's, it's like, really it's like a much more condensed, lighter version of that theme. Well, it's like more of like a, yeah, it's a much lighter version of it. Yeah, you're not building so the countryside. You're more or less in this one city doing different things. Doing it's, like more trading and stuff. Yeah. It's not as much like put your workers out. But thematically, but... I like that era. I do. I, I really love this era. Era. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I love like the culture and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, the so art's pretty. Seeing that is really kind of cool. The uh, the wooden meeples are really nice. They're very customized. Like the horses are very good. The art's beautiful. Yeah, um, yeah, the art's really, really, really good. tight. Wooden dice that, that's always a nice plus. Mm -hmm. And the game, the player boards are nice. Like everything about it is just very it, good. It was quality. just very well done. Like I think like the you know the cutouts and everything kind of fits yeah. together and um, everything's clear you're everything, not left wanting no everything makes sense so component except for those jades the jades I yeah wanting those jades. i would have loved to see these in glass, like glass little little glass jades would have been yeah. the <laughs> real jade touch. would have been fantastic yes but you know <laughs> that's the only now, so I don't know if there is a, a an upgraded version of it Maybe. on Kickstarter, but who knows? But I think yeah, that's the only thing that would have been even nicer is it had there been those little yeah. little, little jades. But no, otherwise, cool. top notch. I like it. Yeah, really, very cool. really well done. Um, I had fun with this one. Yeah, this one's a lot of fun. I was surprised. I, I wasn't sure what to expect. Okay. I was expecting heavier. I was too. Just by the look of it, yeah. and you can't judge a book by its cover. But mm -hmm. I, I kind of expected, and I, I like coming in with expectations because it's usually the opposite of what i think right and right. i'm always pleasantly surprised by that and I, I i do love to find these sort of like middle of the road type euros uh -huh. as far as weight and complexity goes right that we can get on the table play it teach it to somebody in a gaming in our gaming group yes. who's not into the heavy heavy games right, like we right. are uh, but where we can play something like this that we'll all enjoy we're not there for three hours yeah, and they're it's not, still satisfying. Yes, and they're not overly intimidated mm -hmm. by having to manage all this bookkeeping, right. where it's just so very simple, mm -hmm. and, and yet you're getting a nice, you know, a thicker experience when it comes to the Euro mechanics. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's like a good analogy. Oh, thank you. It's good. Thank you. <laughs> no, I agree. Yeah, it, um, it exceeded my expectations, but only because it was different. Yes. Than what my expectations were. I thought it was going to be like another, like really, really super heavy. Right. And it wasn't. No, not that we don't love super heavies because you know we do. But it's right. always nice to have a mix of options yeah. on a, on the uh, scale of complexity. Right. Plus yeah. it was easy to learn. Yeah. So. so all right. Hi. Anything else you'd like to say? No, I just really liked this one. Well, that's good. I enjoyed Me too. It. I liked it as well. Yes. Um, thank you to Tasty Minstrel. Yes. And Game Brewer for providing this review copy. Yes, I think we we so funny. Can I? I want to say the caveat. So like we say anything you want. We were they had actually asked us last year to do a review on this, and the email it was before they came up with even a name for for the game. Yes. We were going to call it something else. Or maybe even like Forbidden City. Maybe it was around the time it was, it was on Kickstarter or whatever. It was like on Kickstarter, yeah. and the email ended up in our spam yep. email box. And I've been cleaning up like a lot. We get. You guys don't even understand how many emails we mm -hmm. get. So um, I was cleaning up through the email. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's, you know, I feel so bad. So we did. We emailed them. And we're like, we're sorry we missed your email. Yeah, but like, like we really want to play Still want to do it. Game. And they were kind enough to, uh, <laughs> to, send us to like still have interest in us yeah. reviewing it. So, so, so it was thank great. thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if you are sending an email and you haven't heard from us, just, just send us another we're email. We're in it. Yeah, we'll we, we do get a lot of them. Yeah. So. But, all right, I think that about wraps it up. Okay. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.